In this video, we'll show you how to hoop finished ball caps using Happy's wide cap frame. To do so, first make sure the cap stretcher or cap gauge is firmly attached to a thicker tabletop such as this. The holding clamp is fairly wide to allow for a strong grip, but it does require a thicker table surface, and we'll use the wing nut here to tighten it against that. So we'll mount this here. Also, before installing the cap gauge or stretcher, be sure to remove the 5mm Allen screw on the inside back wall here. It will allow the cap gauge or stretcher to angle upwards on a hinge to make it more convenient uh, during the hooping process. To begin the hooping process, first remove the clips off of the back of the wide cap hoop and set them aside. To put the cap hoop onto the cap stretcher, Find the center mark that's located on this tab, which is also called the bill stop, and you'll find a slot here on the underside of the cap hoop itself, and that slot should orient and line up with the tab here on the cap stretcher itself. So we'll slide the cap hoop on this way, and in addition, there are clamps at the 10 o'clock position, the 2 o'clock position, and also at the 6 o'clock position. We want all three of these clamps to lock onto the hoop to hold it firmly in place. So pressing it on, grab it by these tabs and push this on and you'll see that as the cap hoop aligns with the clamps and gets close, the clamps will rise up and the pegs will fall into the holes locking it into place. Make sure that happens at all three clamp positions so that now the cap hoop is firmly in place and won't move as we're hooping the cap. Next, let's prepare the cap. We're going to use a popular trucker style cap as an example to show the type of hoofing techniques for this style of cap. First thing is to straighten out the bill as much as you can. Make sure that it's as flat as you reasonably can get it. And also on the underside, extend the sweatband unfolded out from underneath on all points, both the sides and the front. And if necessary, if the cap has a closure and adjustment on the back, you can open that up. That's strictly your option as to whatever you're more comfortable with. So with the cap ready, also have some backing ready. Use only tearaway backing, as you can see here, crisp tearaway backing. And you can cut it or tear it to the size of the design that you anticipate will be on the cap. For example, if you have a design about this size, and this is the reason why we're showing a pre-embroidered cap, is so that you can visualize uh, the size of the backing. So for example, with a design this size, we'll want uh, something that will cover it on both sides and a little bit extra. So we're gonna want something about this size to give a little bit of extra on either side. For stiffer, taller trucker cell caps, it's a little bit more helpful to have two layers of tearaway backing. And also it helps to curl it against a hard 90 degree surface like this. We'll pull that and you can see that this tends to curl. We'll place the backing now underneath the bill stop tab that's on the cap hoop. And with a curled shape, it fits nicely there and will tend to stay there as we hoop the cap. And so with the cap bill flattened and the sweatband extended, we'll now push this onto the cap hoop. Slide the cap onto the cap hoop, again with the sweatband extended, and align the center seam of the cap directly with the red centering mark on the bill stop tab. Slide the cap all the way on so that the sweatband extends underneath the bill stop, but the bill of the cap stops at the top of the bill stop. Do not go past the bill stop like this. The cap should not be placed any lower than the top of the bill stop. Additionally, make sure that the sweatband is unfolded on the sides on both the left and the right sides as much as it is unfolded as practical. At this point, with your right hand, grab on the back part of the cap and pull downwards. This stretches the material of the cap against the inner barrel form of the cap stretcher. Maintain that downward pressure as you continue to hoop the cap. Also, as you're holding the cap downwards, make sure the material of the cap is covering these posts on the back part of the cap hoop. Maintaining our downward pull with the right hand, again, make sure that the sweatband is unfolded as much as you practically can. Take the teeth of the strap and the first section of the teeth, make sure it lands directly onto the seam where the top part of the cap meets that sweatband. And you must do this while you're 
hand is holding this downwards so that when the teeth first grip onto this, this is now maintaining that downward pull. And we can let go with our right hand and don't let that strap let go and it'll take place with the right hand pulling it downwards and then continue to apply the strap to the seam all the way around the cap. In continuing to push the teeth into the seam, make sure that you don't let the teeth let go on any of the sections you've already uh, dug them into and continue clockwise all the way around, making sure that the strap digs into the seam, again, where the bill meets the bottom of the panels. Teeth cannot sit like this. They have to sit directly in this groove to hold the cap level while the machine is embroidering on it. Continuing with the strap where it arrives over the right ear portion of the cap. Again, double check to make sure that sweat band is unfurled. Keep pushing those teeth onto that seam and you'll see down here a tab that sticks out from this flange and this little grip here, um, you can go ahead and pre-lock the strap by hooking it around that little tab and it should hold itself in place. And at this point you can see that the teeth have fallen out a little bit of the, and also of the bell so you can reorient this before we finally tighten this down. And again, make sure that the seam uh, that mates the uh, cap panels to that sweatband is directly under and in line with these teeth of the strap. Finally, we'll hook our catch onto the little hook at the end here. Check once more for alignment. And finally, tighten this down. Be aware that the cap, as we tighten this down, will pull to the right. So make sure that if you need to, you can shift the cap a little bit to the left of the uh, red center mark so that when you tighten this down that the center seam of the cap aligns with that center mark. If you've done this correctly with the strap tightened down, we've stretched the bottom part of the cap against the base of the cap stretcher so that it's nice and properly tightened. However, we haven't done anything to the top part of the cap. So at this point, to take care of that problem, you can see where the sides, the lower part, are stretched along uh, pretty nicely, but the top part remains loose. So at this point, we'll take advantage of the post that's underneath. We'll stretch the back of the cap against the post until the material sits nice and flat. So that this now sits nice and flat, and then take the clip and pinch the material between the post and the clip so that it's held nicely flat against the form of the barrel of the cap stretcher. And we'll do this to the other side and our cap is now hooped. Also check to make sure you can see that the teeth are sitting nicely in that seam. Also you can see that um, on the sides as well. The bottom of the panel uh, is and that seam is buried by this strap and also you can still see the sweat band extended. So to repeat the cap hooping process at normal speed, we'll have our curled backing underneath the bill stop tab. Flatten your brim, extend the sweat band, slide this onto the cap hoop, making sure that the bottom of the brim stops at that bill stop. Put downward pressure on the cap with your right hand, pulling it downwards so that it's under tension. And while it's under tension, on the other side of this, we'll start the strap Make sure the teeth hold down and grip firmly onto the material on the side so that that holds the material over the left ear part of the cap um, backwards and stretch, continue stretching it back by, uh, by pulling it backwards and continue pushing these teeth all the way around to continue to stretch the cap to conform to the metal barrel shape of the cap stretcher. Also making sure again that the teeth everywhere grip that seam, pre-position your strap on the tab, make sure the strap's correct, everything's oriented, tighten the strap down, hooking it, alignment looks good, go ahead and stretch the material against the post. Apply your clips 
and you're ready to sew.